Right now, I'm gonna show you how to create a digital sticker inside of Photoshop. The first step in creating our sticker is selecting the image. So let's choose the object selection tool and then choose select subject from the menu bar. Now, if it doesn't get everything, make sure that our object selection tool here is set to rectangle, hold down the shift key and drag over the area that we missed and Photoshop will add that to the selection. Now we want to copy this to a new layer. Control J, that would be Command J on Mac, will copy it to a new layer. So let's start to build our effect now by using layer styles. So go under effects and the first one we want to create is a stroke. The stroke gives us an outline. Make sure we've set it to outside and we're using color white. Let's increase the size a little bit so it looks a little bit more like a sticker. Excellent. Now what we want to do is change the color. So we're going to go under color overlay and select a color. This blue color is going to work quite nicely. We're going to apply an effect soon to make it look a little less like a photo. But what we also want to do is we want to put a little drop shadow around here. And if you like these kind of tutorials, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my weekly tutorials. All right, let's just get a little bit of a drop shadow there. So it looks like it's floating. All right, now we're going to apply an adjustment layer and we want to use posterize. Now the posterize is going to come with a default of four levels. I'm going to drop this down to three. And just to show you what it looks like at each level, here it is at two. Here it is at three, four, you know, five, six, all the way up a little bit. Let me know in the comments underneath what level you prefer, but I'm going to do this at three. And what we want to do is make sure that it's only affecting the layer underneath and not the background, because that's what's making it look a little weird. Hit the little clipping button here. Now it's only going to be affecting the layer underneath. And the final step is to just drop the opacity down a little bit just roll it down until we get the intensity that we desire. So right now I'm going to show you how to save out the sticker. If you want to just use it as is with the background, you could save it as a JPEG. But what we're going to do is use a transparent background. So let's turn the background off so we see the transparency here inside of Photoshop. And you might want to trim it down to get it nice and tight. Now we've got a drop shadow there, so it might be difficult to figure it out, but we can let Photoshop do that. So let's choose image, trim, and turn on transparent pixels, click OK, and that'll get it down nice and tight without losing any pixels. Did you guys know that? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's export it. We're going to choose file, export, and we're going to use SaferWeb. So if you want to save it out as a JPEG and keep the background, this is where you would do it. But we're going to change this from JPEG to a ping 24. And the ping 24 is going to give us transparency. PNG 24 and 8 will both give us transparency if it's turned on. But the 24 will give us that smoother gradient for that shadow. And then we just set our image size to whatever you want it. And then choose save. And now you've saved it out on your sticker. You can use it on pretty much anything and it's going to have that transparent background. If you got any value out of it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. I'll see you at the cafe.